morning, guys. Bruce, Bruce is outdoors out here fishing on the Flint River down here in Georgia. I know the sound may not be that good because we're right here next to the dam, but we're hoping to catch some, uh, some big guard today. We were down here last week and we did pretty good on them, so we came back and I uh, thought we'd go live and see what we could do. So stay with me here, getting ready to get out here and see what we can catch. And if you follow me, you know I love my catfish candy. It works. I love my catfish candy, but it also catches gar. So we're gonna get over here into the bait bucket, and we're gonna put us on bluegill here and get out there and see if we can't catch a catfish or a big gar. I'm using my double hook setup today. Uh, seems to work really well with the gar. You catch them on that second hook a lot of times. Got my net this morning, but whoops. Here we go. Got that one on, we'll get that out there and get set up and get a couple rods out here in the water. Got anybody watching yet? All right, stay with me. Here we go. Let's, let's get out here. You got one joined. What? You got one joined. I don't know. What I can hear you. You got one joined. I don't know what that means. Here comes out. Here We got one set up here. We'll get another rod set up and uh, we're going to go from there. Same thing. I use 30 pound main line and I use uh, 40 pound leader. And I like monofillers because it takes the rocks. And if you can look over the side, you see there's lots of rocks here. And lots of bugs. Man, I've never seen so many bugs at a place. But we're going to get here and get out here and hopefully we get to catch a big gar live. And of course I use this nice, nice bright fish line because I'm old and I can't see it. I like to watch my line so that way I can see what's going on with it. Am I close enough? Am I close enough? All right. You see good? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to also use that double hook setup again. I, I really like it. So what you do is you, you're going to tie what's called an egg knot. I used to live in Oregon. And I used to fish for a lot of salmon and steelhead, and you tie this knot. And... Uh, so what you do, you just wrap it around here. I'm not very good at teaching knots, but I guess I'll have to do a video on it so you can see. It runs back through. Oh, we got something going here. Let me try to get some steak in the camera. We got one going here. Up there he is. Oh, I think I lost the thing. Man. 
Maine. Just a little old fat dog. Now, you see that second hook is the one that got it. That's why I tie that second hook on there. You see that? It grabbed him. Now, he would have got away if I'd only had one hook on there. But that second hook did the, did the business. And I don't know if you fish a gar or not. They're really cheeky, so be careful with them. And uh, that way you don't get hooked. And you don't get the teeth in it, because they are teeth prepared. Well, that's a nice way to start the day off with this nice little fat dark. It's very pretty. See all the coloring in it? I'll move them up here close so you can see them. Look at all the spots on it. I think this is a spotted long nose gar. There's quite a few different kinds. So we're going to throw him back so he can't catch the big brother. All right. Well, let's get some more bait on and get this one back out. 